Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name's Justin Hast, and it's my great pleasure to be presenting to you the two new novelties from Laura Ferry for Watchers and Wonders 2024. It is the classic moon. Of course, you will remember back in 2018, Laura Ferry came out with uh, an annual calendar. But this is the first time that we're seeing both complications brought together in the same watch. Comes in two different variations. This one, a 5N red gold variation, and this one, a stainless steel model. Both cases are 40 millimeters in the classic Laura Ferrier shape, inspired by 19th century pocket watches, pebbles in nature, and then the same as the case that was used in the award-winning 2010 tourbillon from Laura Ferrier. Let's have a look at the dials on the two watches and let's start with the stainless steel variation with the grey blue dial. It has a striking opaline finish and a combination of Roman numeral markers as well as white baton indices. The small seconds counter at six o'clock is grey blue opaline and its markers are powdered grey. The centre of the small seconds dial consists of an adventuring moon disc engraved with enamel and miniature painting done by hand. The moon phases in the Northern Hemisphere are opposite to those in the Southern Hemisphere, as indicated by the N and S markers on the small seconds. The hour and the minute hands are the brand's famous assegai-shaped hands in grey gold, painted white for legibility. The dial hand is also in gold, but in this instance, it's painted pastel blue. Inserted between the 12 o'clock index and the logo are two gently sloping beveled windows. The left one reveals the day of the week, while the right one indicates the month. Moving on to the next watch, the red gold case with the beautiful brush dial, which really has to be seen to be appreciated. The hour markers are represented in the same fashion for this model as the previous. The minute and the date numerals are indicated in a blue petrol color, except for the 31st, which is indicated in a cherry red color, which also matches the date pointer. All Laurent Ferrier hands are gold, and in this instance, the hour, minute, and seconds hand are treated in a ruthium gray finish for greater contrast and legibility. The moon phase at six o'clock is exactly the same as seen on the still version. Both have superluminova, which means that the moon and the stars really come alive at night. As we've come to expect from Laura Ferry, there is so much elegance in this watch and there is so much design that needs to be appreciated. Small touches like when you turn the watch over, you can see the Olivet at six o'clock at the base of the case itself, which acts as a tool to help the watchmaker gain access to the movement. To the finishing, where you can see the bridges and the Geneva striping, which is seamless. The beveling, the anglage on the, the base plates is beautiful. And even the design on the long blade ratchet, where you see some bassinage finishing, which is sublime, as well as the power reserve, you can see it uh, moving as you add power into the barrel itself. The movement within the classic moon is the all new LF126.02. It's a manual winding movement. It has 266 components, 30 new components from the previous annual calendar, 20 revised components, and it even has 30 bar water resistance. Both straps that come on the watches are wonderful. For the gold variation, we have a brown calf leather strap with matching Alcantara lining. And then for the stainless steel version, we've got a gray Nubuck strap with Alcantara lining as well. Well, there you have it. Thank you very much for joining us. That is the new classic moon from Moore Ferry. While it's a series of new uh, elements, be it the movement or the combined complication, it is of course that traditional um, format that we know and love from the brand.